So what we're looking at here is the Seiko 7549, which is nicknamed the Golden Tuner. So what these were is these were originally a, a professional diving watch and they came out in a titanium case which was titanium nitride coated which gives it the gold color and they also have a shroud on them which is uh, this guy here now normally what would happen is the bezel would be fitted there and then the shroud fits on like that and this retains the bezel and I'll just get it on there hang on it's a little bit yep there we go so that there is actually screwed in through those holes there which <clears throat> are also titanium nitride coated um, titanium screws which I haven't got on camera at the moment but that's how the whole case goes together so um, I'll just take this off again and just show how the crystal goes on so what they have is they have a ring there which is removed like you'd remove any normal uh, watch case back and uh, that actually retains the crystal so under there under that ring um, there's a little lip which just touches the crystal and the crystal sits in an L-shaped gasket which goes in there which keeps it uh, uh, water resistant so the crown on these um, I'll just remove it there it looks like that now unlike the other divers the crown the uh, crown gasket actually goes just on there I haven't currently got one fitted but um, it just sits in that groove there I'll just see if I can get that in focus here we go and um, yeah it basically sits on there so there's a screw thread uh, on the outside of that there we go which you can see there and that screws in just like that if you've got one of these I'd be very gentle with these because if you strip them the, the parts are nearly impossible to find quite often uh, these these rings here get stripped or the case or the thread that the ring keys into gets stripped and that pretty much means the end of the case so if you're ever dealing with these be incredibly incredibly careful with them so when I got this watch it actually had a um, uh, the original crystal fitted but someone had ground down you can see that there's a there's a bevel on the crystal which should come into focus at some point in the next hour um, there's just there's a bev just a bevel on that crystal there which I don't know if I'm going to get it to behave but um, <clears throat> what someone had done there, there's obviously some chips on it or something and someone had ground it quite far in so the bevel actually ended up probably about another millimetre uh, closer to the centre of the crystal which made it look a little bit a uh, little bit unusual but I fitted this this uh, crystal here which is a, a new old stock one and uh, I also had to replace the uh, crystal gasket in this because the crystal gasket was just it was stuffed it was ripped and it uh, it was also swelled and when they swell there's there's really not too much you can do with them just moving over on to I'm just going to put this aside and uh, just start having a look at the movement here so <clears throat> excuse me the dial on here has been relumed and um, I don't quite know what they've done with it but um, you'll see the green loom there that's actually meant to be the color of the hands so it's meant to be that nice creamy color and what someone's done is they've, uh, I've just actually cut a little bit into this one here and uh, what someone's done is they've just put this loom straight on the top of the old loom which you probably really want to avoid doing so why they did that I've got no idea um, quite possibly it had a little bit of water in it and the loom got some dark spots on it which is fairly common and uh, that's quite possibly what um, cause someone to reloom it um, I think to remove that I'm probably going to have to chip the whole lot off I don't think I'm going to be able to reloom <coughs> remove the um, the loom that's been put on the top um, I think it's too well stuck down to whatever's under it and uh, yeah it's just not going to come off so doing that by hand will be a bit tricky as in the loom job but uh, I'll do my best to get it to look like um, look like it's supposed to 
and I can certainly match that creamy colour so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So I'm just going to flip this over, I'm not going to take it out of the holder, that should be enough detail there just to see what's going on. So that looks like it's got the original movement in there because the 7549 is actually quite well built and totally serviceable so you'll see the, the gear train there. You can see there with the coil uh, screws in as well, which is those two points there. And then the rest of it is pretty much space for the module, which I've just got over here. Okay, so that's that's the module there. Now, this module's been taken off uh, a Pulsar watch. I think it'll probably be okay. Um, that's the back side of it there. So usually the modules between these are, are fairly uh, fairly common. So all it does really is send an impulse to the coil to um, to flick the, the motor pinion around. So I don't think we'll have too much of a problem with that. Let's just see if I can get a good shot of the underside of it there. So I'll just change the mode on here. Okay, when I change camera mode, it just stopped the camera. So I've just recorded to start another video now, which I'll just depend on the end, onto the end. So you can see there the um, the integrated circuits just in there. That's that little pack there. Um, that's all the rest of the circuit there, and you've got the quartz oscillator just there. So there's the, yeah, these are really not that complex. So I don't think it will affect the the watch at all. So yeah, that, that's another big sign that it's probably had some, some water in it at some point. Because um, usually you wouldn't replace the module unless you really had to. So I'll just leave this, uh, leave this video here and um, yeah, you'll hear back from me soon.